Hello everyone, welcome back to another video today and today is going to be something completely different like I know I say that in a few comms like it's going to be completely different but for real this time it's going to be absolutely completely different to what you're seeing. Now it's not going to be a multiplayer gameplay today, it's actually going to be something from zombies and what it's going to be is a symbol how to get free guns in like one life, like you can carry uh, three weapons without the use of mule kick or you can carry four if you decide to use uh, buy mule kick in your game as well. Now it's actually a very simple um, thing to do, all you need is a gobble gun which is called, I'll find it on the screen now, called disorderly combat, you need that, that's the one that gives a random gun every 10 seconds, honestly it's only a mega so it's not that hard to get, you should have a few of them if you've uh, been saving up and buying your liquid divinium vial things, I can't remember what they're called, but apart from that all you need is a friend, so today I'm playing with Ethan, say hi Ethan. Yo. There he is, now you can do this on any map. So I will verify for that, but I've done this on I think three maps so far, so I can confirm it does work on the Giant, Moon and Shadows of Evil. So if you do want to do it, just load up any other map and just follow the simple steps I'm going to give you now. Now I'm going to like jump until it's relevant like for you to see, like I don't want to just post like maybe it's a 30 minute game. So I'll just cut to the parts where you use what you guys need to see, so I'll see you then. Now something I realised about this once I actually recorded this um, gameplay was that I cut out half of the second step and since currently Ethan decided to go to bed I can't replicate it. But what all you need to do is it's extremely simple. All you need to do is get the disorderly combat gobble gun out of the um, gobble gun machine and you need to use it like just uh, it automatically it's like as soon as you pick it up it starts itself you don't have to press anything to activate it do not press up on the d-pad or else that will cancel it out all you need to do is wait for it to get until it's about in the red zone the red zone is usually i think it's when it's got about maybe 25 percent use left wait until it's around there and then well i I usually wait until it's about 10%, but um, all you have to do is wait until it's about 10% like left of the gobble gum, and then I will cut to the part of the gameplay where I got that, but I'm sorry I cut my part of the gameplay, what an idiot I am. Uh, now as you can see the disorderly combat is wore down to the point that it's about maybe, it's, if I were to look at it say 20% left, so what I'm going to do is wait until it's about 10% left and then I'm going to get Ethan to turn on this trap here and then I'm going to go into the trap and kill myself. Yep, that's the step. You've got to kill yourself and let yourself bleed out. But the catch is you've got to let yourself bleed out while the gobblegum ends. So the gobblegum's got to end in time while I'm down. Right, um, after this one, Ethan, put it on. Uh, put that trap on now. And uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to kill myself like that. And then, as you can see, while I'm down, the gobblegum will end. Like, uh, the five minutes will be up or whatever. Like, the gobblegum just stops. It's, like, done. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let myself bleed out, just completely die as if you're like your teammate can't get you or anything. And then once I respawn, I'll have the ability to buy three weapons without the use of mule kick, and then four with the use of mule kick. And you might not think that it's worth it. It's not like it's at a costly price because you have to die. But if you do this very early game, then you're pretty much set. Like if you want to go for a true high round, and you do this very early game, it can be extremely beneficial to. Um, getting that high round so it's more of just a novelty thing just to do for fun it's just if you want to feel more overpowered you can do that but obviously it's not vital now i'm just going to let ethan finish around here and then spawn me spawn me near meal kick um which is i think it's in um garage so once he spawns me back in i'll prove to you that i can have three weapons at the same time no dodgy glitching fucking well it is glitching no dodgy like graphical shit it's literally all real not about that so once this dog decides to you know, come to die. We should be all good. So we'll just wait for Ethan to finish this round, which is a hell of a long dog round and I don't know why. Right, there we go. So when I spawn back in now, well, you know, there we go, right, I've spawned back in, as you can see, I have two weapons, I have an RK5 because of a complete Easter egg, and I have an MR6. Now I'll go up and I'll buy this VMP, and I have three, I have a VMP, MR6, and an RK5. I'll do that again, VMP, MR6, RK5. Now if I come over here, and I buy Mule Kick, as you can see, Mule Kick on the bottom left, use box. I have an Argus, MR6, RK5, VMP. I'll do that again, I have a VMP, Argus, MR6, and an RK5, all on one class because I've done this little glitch thing. 
Now, I'm not going to claim to be the founder of this at all. Don't get me wrong, I did not find this glitch and I will link the per person who I got this glitch off in the description but I know a lot of my followers and my subscribers do play zombies and I know a lot of people now do still enjoy to play zombies so I thought I'd make this video just to let you guys know how to do this if you want to have more fun in your games. Now having said that, I don't know if you can actually upgrade your weapons and keep them but if you want to see me test that I can make one another video for you and um, I'm going to end the video here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in another... I did this again before this one, so I'll provide like two like games proof that you can actually do it, so you guys can see for yourself. Now, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and peace.